started. Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast, and we're coming to you live from the wild card round, the beginning of the top cut of the Malachor Galactic qualifier if you're wondering what we mean by wild card round there was not a clean top 16 so we have a it's it's wild card sounds a lot cooler than top 12 but there's only eight people playing because of how math works so <laughs> wild card is where we are at now um today we have Sean Oakley versus Marco Tamlin. We are playing Assault at the Satellite Array. In this objective, you are trying to control the area range 0-1 to one around the objectives in order to gain control and get a point at the end of each end phase starting at round 2. So, today I'm joined by my good friends William Haywood. General Denobi. <laughs> And James, the Raptor Ritter. I, I don't even know how to follow that up, but uh, hey, guys. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So we're playing Assault the Satellite Array. Let's go ahead and break down these lists. But before we do that, let me remind everybody that our games this weekend brought to you by our amazing patrons. You can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. If you want to get cool stuff while supporting us, they are really our biggest group of supporters and the reason why we can do what we do here at gold squadron. All right, let's start to break down those lists and everybody at home. It's time for you to choose your champion. All right, James, your pick today. My pick. Ooh, you're so generous, Will. So, so generous. Uh, I'll take the Empire, uh, since uh, you are tired of seeing all these defenders everywhere. Um, <clears throat> they're pretty good nowadays, huh? Um, they like Empire to go flip list. a do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Galactic Empire list run by Marco Tamlin. Uh, and it uh, leads off with a strong start in Merrick Steel. Uh, Merrick it, able to... How do you spell his name? <laughs> double A's, Merrick baby. Double Stel. A's. Oh, it's two A's. Why the two A's? <laughs> double A's. <laughs> All right. Merrick Steel. Um, Merrick Steel here. We have uh, in the Thai Advanced X1... Able to uh, draw three cards instead of one, and choose which crit gets dealt to each for for each of the crits that he deals. Uh, could be pretty ruthless. Able to draw out a fuel leak into a direct hit uh, for just like some massive damage, or like Will was commenting on earlier, drawing some. Uh, uh, what are the panicked pilot or the ion maneuvers? Uh, not going to be very helpful against these larger and medium based ships uh, for the ion maneuver, but um, man, these large hull ships do not like Chris, and he gets the best of them. He is also rocking Ruthless, a marksmanship for some extra crit generation, fire control systems, and afterburners. That's a big afterburners card right there. Flying alongside him, he has Rexler Brath in the TIE Defender. Has uh, the ability to, after an uh, after attack that you perform hits, if you're evading, expose one of the damage, uh, Defender's damage cards, which works really well with his heavy laser cannon. Able to deal a lot of face down damage and then flip one up after he does his attack with... Um, as long as he's evading, which he likes to do in this TIE Defender with the full throttle ability, and also pairs really well with the Juke and Fire Control systems. Uh, also in this list, he has a pair of ISB Jinguists in the TIE Fighters, uh, with a uh, fun ability to uh, hand out strain or depletes in range 1 when they engage, uh, unless the defender chooses to remove a green token. Uh, and they are equipped with Dead Man's Switch. Wow. Able to, uh, when they are destroyed, each ship at range 0 1 suffers a damage. Uh, these guys are expendable to the <laughs> max. Do, <laughs> do not <laughs> let these guys get close to you because they're going to stick on you like butter. 
And uh, to round out the list here, and really a, a really important piece that uh, we don't talk about too often here, is the Thai Reaper. We're seeing a big comeback of these guys. Um, Abel, uh, and this one is going to be Vazir. After you fully execute a speed one maneuver using your adaptive ailerons, which has changed a little bit, um, you may perform a coordinate action if you do skip your perform action step. So able to use those adaptive ailerons, uh, so you can choose. Oh, I think I think it's actually different now, isn't it? The actual keyword is different. It just uh, refers to controlled ailerons. Controlled yes. ailerons. Thank you, thank you. Controlled ailerons, where if you're not stressed, you may choose to do a boost, uh, which is a lot better in my opinion. Able to uh, control your speed much better with these medium bases. And uh, do that coordinate uh, outside of your uh, perform action step. Also has the ability uh, to, has Emperor Palpatine uh, to hand out some uh, free force to any of these uh, other ships across the board. All right. And All right. looking at that, it looks like we don't have an engagement this turn, but we're going to get to it next turn. What's in our other list, Will? Well, that's... Well, I'm shot, but it wasn't much uh, at this Jingoist down at the bottom of the board. Uh, Jingoist does get a shot here at Kath. This will be two on four. Obstructed. And spends the focus for two. Are we going to get some early damage here? Nope. Let's keep going through the lists. Now just some warning shots here. So that is Kath Scarlet. I'm the captain of the Benari Pirates. Uh, has a blank ability, just fancy. Uh, that's what uh, she brings to this fight. <laughs> uh, a uh, thematic pairing because her ship is called the Marauder, allowing out to bring uh, a gunner and a reroll out of her rear firing arc. And that gunner is going to be the skilled bombardier um, because she is rocking the electro chaffed missile. She's a a big thing that's been happening since the release of the last First Order pack and the First Order bombers. These electro traffic missiles, you can launch them out of the front of your ship in the system phase, and they're an obstacle that hangs out for two rounds. They can stress you, jam you, make you skip your actions. Uh, they are just a, an ultimate debuff. And that skilled bombardier allows you to change the speed so you can launch it at five and two banks i guess you can launch it three forward as well but you can, uh that's some extra position you can put the electro trap missiles this cath also has savage oppress for a force point and elusive so some defensive tech slapped in there as well uh the uh other fire spray is emon Known for dropping bombs with hard three templates. Uh, also has electro trapped missiles, a force point through a Sokotano, and also concussion bombs. I wish to detonate at range zero to one. Uh, each ship will have to take a face down damage card and a strain unless they flip up one of their damage cards. So, very useful for low hull count ships, things like uh, A wings, V wings. Uh, very scared of just taking face down damage cards past their shields. Then, uh, the last ship out there, iconic Han Solo in the customized <laughs> Y2-1300. Has trick shot because he loves shooting through obstacles, gets extra dice when shooting through and defending. Lando Calrissian for rerolls by spending green tokens, uh, which he gets two of through IG-88D. Agile Gunner for rotating his turret arc. A rigged cargo chute. Another obstacle that can be placed and help him with his trick shots and debuff mechanics. Electronic Baffle. Uh, must, have, must have been a point shy for the engine upgrade, uh, but able to remove one red token for a damage. And then, of course, the... Millennium Falcon title, giving him an extra dice when attacking stressed ships. Now, I uh, want to segue quickly into the scenario, though, 
Uh, Salt on Satellite Array does give extra, what do I say? Uh, not extra points. If you, if, if, it, you got, it, if you thick, you take up more space. So yes, you get exactly. you get you're getting you two ships worth no, of uh, two ships worth of control. Correct. So and that's why Han boosted in towards the TIE fighter here because actually he counts as two ships, so it's able to take control of these different satellites. Uh, which I'm not sure how the scum ships would normally uh, approach uh, this list, but the scenario is definitely making them spread out quite a bit here mm -hmm. yeah i know this is three ship lists have been something that uh like i haven't quite wrapped my head around i do like the double fire spray here i mean obviously they don't have the re-rolls that boba has um and all the tech that uh that a separatist Django fett would have but um three dice gun that can shoot front back and has a force point uh, is just a good uh, good piece, and they both have their their toys, especially Iman. Iman's kind of scary uh, with Calf Scarlet kind of covering herself with that electro chaff. I'm excited to see how uh, how Sean plays this. Well, he he apparently loves the white boost on the fire sprays because they're closing in. I uh, didn't quite have the position for those system phase uh, chaff clouds. Really mm -hmm. got to make sure those hit. Uh, you spent a lot of your uh, like slots to get those. They take up both the missile and bomb slot. Now, that ISB Jingo is kind of turning into Han. Han should be able to hop over pretty easily. Maybe not. We're seeing some, some barrel roll shenanigans. Oh, does that end up bumping? Yes, just Ooh, barely. There is a bump. So no evade. And no focus token, not willing to take the red focus. Once uh, Rexler Breath does love those evades. So I don't, know, I don't know if you guys saw, but Bazir gave Merrick a focus of barrel roll to get him on the other side of that debris cloud. Mm, yes, yes, the focus barrel roll linked. Everyone's used to seeing Vader just take free actions without penalty. Mm -hmm. um, but when you don't have the force, really got to rely on that linked action. <laughs> Yeah, so these fire sprays coming in pretty hot to uh, muck up the Empire's list here, but I don't think it's actually done a ton. They've still been able to get into some pretty good positions. Yeah, it's going to cost Iman a, a lot to drop that concussion bomb. There is a big penalty with the concussion bombs that if you don't reload them, you have to keep dropping them. Mm -hmm. Now, I can reload with the in. How do you say it? In, Andrasta? Andrasta, thank you. But then you can't shoot. Gotta take the weapons, disable them. Sometimes it's worth it. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Alright, he's gonna take the range zero and aim in. Uh, that's not a bad hit. Hit crit. Yeah, you, you better spend your force point here. Oh, he's going to take a two. Really? Okay. Uh, Mer I'm just worried about Merrick's crits. Yeah. It's he's known for his crits. You better hold on to your shields while you can. Uh, oh. It's okay. <laughs> I'll just Luckily, roll got four blanks. <laughs> yeah, which means he won't get his automatic crit generation. Oh, man. He's in a ruthless though. I think ruthless. Will. I think Will wants wants to see the crits. I feel. I, I don't feel. It's, it's fun. Crits. It's fun. It, it's very fun. Yeah, that he gets to choose. You just get the most outrageous combinations. All right, on defense here. Evade, focus, spend for two. That's one getting through, and that leaves it's Iman a... with a single shield. It is good that Merrick did not have to spend that focus. It still has it for defense against Eamon's unmodified shot. All right, here we go. Back at Merrick Steel. Range one. Only got a single hit. No way to modify that. 
Shake and bake. Merrick is fine. A lot of wet noodles out here. Let's <laughs> go. Oh, uh, using the Jingoist ability to force Han to take a strain token before he attacks. I like it. I like it. Two hits. He gets, he gets the range bonus? There no, he does not. Okay. Yeah. Nope. So uh, nothing there. Okay. Complete whiff. All right, range two, so no jingoist ability on this one. This is going at Kath Scarlet and yeah, double blanks. blanks. Yeah, you mentioned it earlier, I think, but uh, the the ability of the jingoist earlier, like in this tournament, that uh, it feels like their ability can work at range zero. Like it, it, they it definitely can does, attack yeah. mm -hmm. better at range zero than most ships. Oh yeah, because they have the they have an ability to actually affect the green dice, mm -hmm. but without directly modifying. Be like, well, technically, I didn't modify your dice. You just happened to be strained. Right. Uh, <laughs> It, oh, like, they're, that like, the, they're, they're that like, guy. They're that guy. They're like the rules lawyers of yeah. uh, <laughs> range zero out there. But yeah, it makes some very really good blockers. Uh, it's it's the reason they've been so popular for the imperial faction right now. Now, do you think I, these uh, these fire sprays and Han? They're just making a beeline for Vizier. Kind of, oh, yeah. kind of has that's the, the feel. You, that's the ship you can actually kill. It's worth way more than these Jinkoists, and uh, you need to knock out that palp ability. Mm -hmm. It's also another medium-based ship, so it's taking it's counting as two ships in this scenario as well. Now two. we don't have any double taps from these fire sprays. No, the only gunner is the skilled bombardier. Uh, my question for you guys is, what do you expect the hard three concussion from Iman? And if you're the Imperial player, how do you react to this bombing? Um, I think with the with the yellow jingoist, I think I almost like just like five straight to yeah. get all the way over there to that other objective mm -hmm. and just get that one for this turn. Play some lily pads. Can... Just, yeah, true. You can just, I mean, you can hard one and barrel roll around that objective for the rest of the game if you need be. Yeah, um, because you've already taken your Ruthless. Uh, it didn't work out, but you are down, down a health. Um, or uh, could 4K, and I think it still gets hit by the concussion, mm -hmm. but... Um, I certainly I certainly would not 4K behind oh, an obstacle with Han flying around. With Han it, flying around. That's quick, fair. Yeah. Quick not question. So great. No. I, I know yeah. I know it's not as exciting as a three hars, but what about the three straight drop from Iman? Oh uh, yeah, I think you want to hook it right. into that. You want to hook it into that lane, into that, in right. between those obstacles. Now the the but worst I feel, part about this I guess my block. my my thought is that that feels really obvious. Like going into that pocket, I I, I wonder if you might sure. catch Rexler and Merrick going there. That's just my thought. I mean, you could just one, one straight drop it and just cover the center objective. True that. Uh, because, unfortunately, that bump lined up <laughs> that obstacle right in front of Rexler's 4K. Uh, there's yeah. not yeah, a lot he could do about it. He could yeah. 2K right where Iman's about to drop a concussion bomb. Yeah, I think I think I would almost do a three three bank and boost into the to shoot Han. I'd just be like, okay, I'll take the concussion. Like it's gonna be sad, but <laughs> it's gonna be sad. Uh, so then what? Merrick Talon rolls the other way. He had to spend his lock, and Viz uh, Vizier is probably not gonna be able to catch him without stressing himself on that coordinate. All right. So, yeah. uh, that Elon block, actually, I think was very effective here setting up this uh, turn four engagement. Okay, we're we going to have to have Rexler go away or or get bombed, right? It's one of those one of those two. <sighs> yeah, you got two choices. Oh, oh he went the three with the three straight. straight. Ooh, okay. Fake. Praise fake be. Some... <laughs> 
All right, let's see. Let's see if he catches them with that. Because I think like Re Rexler is going to probably end up three-harding outside. Here's Vizier trying to take control. So this objective is mine. You can't play with my ball. This is my ball. Ooh, ooh, so, he is, so he is coordinating here. Got to be the lock. You got to get that, uh, Merrick Stell. Putting some crits on Imam. If you ever have a chance to take down one of these fire sprays early. I think that prob probably means, Merrick, we're going to see a uh, talent roll trying to catch uh, Iman from behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah, think I would have gone with the three bank with Vizier to get some more range here. To maybe not take this range one, take a range zero instead. Mm. I like that. But wanting to hang out and, uh, I mean, it's, it's assault, so you have to stay near these objectives for as long as possible. Right now, he's contesting that objective, preventing the scum from getting a point. All right. Well, we got that 4K from the Jingoist. It's not controlling that bottom objective. Uh, the other one staying close. Oh, Rexler going towards the center. It is currently at range one of that concussion bomb for sure. Probably going to end up forcing the boost. There it is. We'll have an evade to protect from Han Solo's move. And there we go. The talent roll from Merrick. <laughs> yeah, don't go back. Go, no, go forward, forward. Forward. The concussion? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might still be in the concussion, even forward, but I think I'd still go for the forward. Yeah, you're not going to put yourself in the range one of Iman yeah. if you go forward. No, go forward. Come on. I wonder if he's thinking. <laughs> he, he, uh, he went, he went back. back. I think he's he trying knew, to give himself space. He's oh, trying he's to give himself afterburns. Oh, oh money. Oh. Money. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you were talking about how powerful they can be. Yeah. I, I forget about them now because it, you don't see them too much oh, anymore. It's a rare It's a rare upgrade these days. Not a lot of people can afford to use them. But on an X1 chassis, it's why Vader loves taking them. So I you normally see with them. Uh, with that... Uh, absence of boost on their action bar. You got to get that speed somehow. Yeah, Look. here we go. You, you said it. You shouldn't have done it. Um, yeah, he did. Maybe, maybe <laughs> don't K turn. He uh, is both an obstacle. Both stressed and obstructed. It's going to be a five yeah. dice attack coming in from Han Solo. <laughs> yeah. Big five money. Dice range three attack here. Oh, oh no. That's not great. That's so he, well, sometimes it doesn't work out. So with Lando, you can spend one of your calculates to reroll up to two of your results. And then you're just going to keep them? He's going to keep them on defense with Rexler Brath right there. Yeah. You guarantee an evade more or less with two of them. You can reroll your, your dice and then spend it. All, All right. right. Well, here we go. Merrick. Go. That's a Ooh, lot better. Natural crit. Got fire control system. And has Palpatine for hit, hit, crit. And ruthless. Aha. Oh, all the mods. Full Brutal. send here. Everything uh, Merrick Stowe's got. So two hits, two crits going into Emon. You know there's one evade. Guaranteed two crits. And fire sprays doing fire spray stuff. Two evades, one on the shield, one face up, and we get to see the Merrick. One, two, three cards here. All right, all right. I'll, I'm going to switch cameras so people can see what got selected. Stunned console fire or loose stabilizer. Mm. Which one would you guys do? Oh, uh, the loose stabilizer Ooh. and the console fire. Stun's not going to do anything, so throw that. Yeah, immediately throw that. I was like, <laughs> I'm not going to choose that one. Uh, console fire is nice because you can get a damage this round. Uh, loose stabilizer is pretty much a direct hit at this mm -hmm. point. Yeah, I, but I mean, honestly, I think I think, I think might, I would, might just I would, go forward anyway. I would just give him the loose stabilizer and convince him to go forward. <sighs> Loose stabilizer is a guaranteed damage at some point. Yeah, at some point. Unless or a wasted to... action, which is pretty so yeah. solid as well. If he doesn't want to target lock me and wants to instead fix this loose stabilizer. Those of you in the chat, what would you pick out of those two? Council fire, loose stabilizer. Yeah, I mean, council fire is not as. Uh, it's more efficient, you know what I mean? But it could just never hit, though. Mm -hmm. Hard to say. 
Either way, I think overall you always choose a card that provides extra damage with Merc. Yeah. Direct hit, fuel leak, loose stabilizer. And here we go. Two hits from Rex. Uh, no, sorry, not Rex. Oh, yeah, Rex Breath. Yeah, he's got a heavy Han. laser cannon out there. But Han's got the calculate. All right, so was able to avoid one of the damage. Takes one shield on Han Solo. Next shot from Iman. Range one into Vizier. Single hit. Does he have a target lock out there? Yep, he sure. took target lock out of his action, and he's got a force point... I uh, won't need it for hit, hit, crit. And all three of those are going to be landing. And we got a fuel leak on Vizier. Oh, was he already damaged? Yeah, Ruthless. Ah, Ruthless, of course. How, how soon I forget. Cast Scarlet going to try to keep the pressure on. Does she have a focus? No, she took a lock. One hit, two focuses there. Two hits. Has the force available. That's three hits. And all three of those are going to sink as well. Vizier down to one. Yeah. Love this aggressive fire spray play. Console Trying fire. To target, lock it. Oh, it hit. Yep. There you go. As good as the direct damage. And here comes the Jingoists. Long range shot at Cat Scarlet. Range three. Focus on a blank. Not doing much in offense, but uh, at least try, trying to hold down some objective tokens. Keep yeah, Marco this is in the game. A, a huge round for the Imperial taking. Uh, what looks like three objectives. Ooh, four blop hits from hot. Vizier. <laughs> what? Blop, blop. Oh, man. Almost died there if he didn't have the force. <laughs> well, you hope you better repair that uh, console fire, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, console fire looking real good. Looking a lot better than that stun did. Uh, you know? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, well, I think the first one drawn was the... Cons no, I think it was the um. What's it? The other one, the uh. Loose. Stun. Loose. Pilot? Yeah, I think loose was the first one drawn. So. Would have uh, been happy kinda, with he that. He kind of he kind of did the three card Monty when he threw threw him out. So hard to say. Well, looking looking at that uh at that little battle that just went on, you're gonna see there that top. Objective was contested, so no points there, leaving uh, Sean at six points. Uh, two points awarded to the Imperials, giving us a score of six to four going into this fifth round. Man, Vizier really <laughs> yeah. punched so, back. Yeah, you, you will not kill me. Also, here's some free damage. <laughs> Yeah, you were like, you were like, uh, hindsight twenty twenty, but like uh, you said earlier, like maybe he should go for a range zero. No, but zero wanted the range one shot. He was he was looking to do some damage. Four damage, free with every order. Yeah, I think I think Vizier's dead though. Like that concussion bomb is gonna finish her off. Yeah, because of the size and the medium base, if you. Well, I guess if you just one straight and bump, like... No, that's what I'm saying. That's... Yeah. Wait, no. Could you completely bail? Ooh. Could you, like, boost to the right? Does the boost to the right get over? Oh, he stressed. Uh, stress. Oh. Yeah, your only option is just to hope hope that uh, that's not how math works. That the medium base plus a one straight is enough to get you out of range one. I don't think it is, because you get to measure from the little nubs of the mm -hmm. bomb as well. Uh, that's close. 
So unless you could, you might be able to bump your dub into his, I guess, and get an extra, <laughs> an are extra tiny line, millimeter or two. They're lined but... up. They are lined up. Um... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, so that, that's, <laughs> e yeah, either way, dude, there's going to be a one straight bomb drop. Uh, Eman's just going fast, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, he could just like 4K, or but I guess he wants to like my, probably my three, turn three, around. He probably just wants, wants to three straight and uh, repair that console fire. Yeah. Though you do see sometimes people in this situation say, ah, oh, my guy's going to die anyway. Let, let me just try to get a, a get a shot. Right, like you don't I mean, repair you... the console fire, you take a token and uh, and risk the shot from Merrick. I mean, he will he will die at that console fire. Mhm. Mm yeah, because that would be a six hole. Uh, if you could risk your one console fire, I could see bumping, not dropping the bomb and bumping into Vizier. Oh, he slapped it down. Both of them, but he's he's dropping the concussion bomb. He literally has to. He doesn't have a choice, I guess. Yeah. Because uh, it says, during the system phase, if any of these cards charges are inactive, you must spend one charge to drop one concussion bomb, if able. Otherwise, you may spend one charge to drop one concussion bomb. Oh. I guess technically, if he launches his chaff clouds, he would not be allowed to drop his concussion bomb. Well, we just saw uh, Cass Scarlet toss hers out there. Ooh, really? Mm-hmm. And it's going to end up hitting both Iman and uh, and Vizier. Uh, so so that will break Merrick Stell's lock off of Iman. Yep. Perkos, remember, it breaks your locks, gives you a jam, and you roll 50-50 for stress. If you overlap it, you also lose your perform action step, just like any other obstacle. All right, so it looks like Vizier just scooting up. <laughs> their, uh, their nubs did bump into each other as well. The nubs! Uh, so that's that might be the extra distance. I actually don't know that math. It looks good, though. Looks like he's out of the bomb. <sighs> Someone, someone more skilled in dropping bombs and Eman uh, should be able to tell me if that actually does fit. Roll again for overlap. He didn't overlap. Oh uh, yes, because he because he didn't move through it. He did. Execute a maneuver and land on top of it, which would, in fact, stress him. Mm -hmm. So, Iman, luckily, not uh, not forced to do that two white straight. Oh, yeah, we're checking on here. Uh, was Iman stressed before he talon rolled? He was not. Okay, that's good. That was risky. Could have just two forwarded and died to his own concussion bomb. I mean, if you're going to go, do it in style, bro. It's cool. I guess. <laughs> I didn't expect the chaff cloud from Cast Scarlet. Well, I guess either way, the two forward gets him over Vizier. Mm -hmm. True. True, yeah. I'm not wrong about that. Right, Man, I'm the mental games with these chaff clouds. Yeah. I'm telling you. It's real. I thought we I thought we were done uh, stressing people before their dials. Nope. <laughs> and it's launching, false. It launching. is just <laughs> But hey, you know what? It's okay. I know when I, when I read through it a few times, I was like, oh, this mechanic's back. <laughs> okay. Well, before I don't think we've we we're like, okay, well that's something you can do. Like nobody uses rigged cargo. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, but I've. Han Solo, right? He loves obstacles, trick shot, yeah. uh, and his pilot ability. So it totally makes sense for him to have a rigged cargo shoot. But not every list is like, oh man, rigged cargo shoots are so good. Gotta bring one. 
All right, we saw Rexler slap down a target lock onto uh, Han Solo. At that initiative five, we'll be able to fire before Vizier goes pop, unless the concussion bomb is in range. Oh, Mer he did a two straight with Merrick. Smart, could see, smart. Could, could see a pretty cool barrel roll focus here mm -hmm. to get away from that concussion bomb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his lock got stripped, but still would have a three dice attack. With marksmanship? Marksmanship, ruthless, and... Uh, oh, that'd be dirty. Uh, you just take out you just take out Vizier? <laughs> just, just, just like, no, because I don't think... Uh, hard to say. Yeah, Han's going to have to be the one that uh, <laughs> finishes the job if he wants it. Oh, uh, he's, and he's going to have to rotate. Big three bank. <laughs> No, he he did not choose to with Agile Gunner, so not going to make the choice now. Oh, Ooh, boy. Baby, the he nubs. The nubs. Oh. Hey, hey, wow. <laughs> I'm going to have to retry. I'm going to try to recreate that and see if you don't bump nubs if yeah, yeah. it actually hits you. I think you would. That's crazy. <laughs> That's fantastic. Because if, if Merrick takes out Eamon before... Demon shoots. Uh, There's nobody shooting at. No one. Vizier. No one shoots Vizier. Mm, yeah, and that's real awkward. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a range one shot coming in from Han. Hit crit. No, I think he's going obstructed to the Jinkoist. Yeah. 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 Two hits and a crit into the Jinkoist. Well, Ooh. well, spend yeah, the focus, take just, hit crit. Yellow just dies. Uh, yellow had been ruthless. ruthless before and will just die. Uh, it's going to be a dead man switch. Luckily, nobody's around. Little direct hit damage on the way out. He has been pretty good about keeping these Jinguists well away from his own ships. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see that. Uh, but they are in, especially with this kind of list where you have like, you know, your, your tanky support ship and then two aces, right? But now if you, I'd like that two ace support style, but if you drop those aces cheap enough, you can get these two objective getters. Ooh, you don't ruthless. You don't ruthless. You don't ruthless. Don't do not do it. Merrick, two hits. You, you might not kill him. The council do, fire probably will, though. Do you want the guarantee? You don't have any other shots at Iman this turn. No, don't ruthless. And marksmanship, though. Marksmanship. Oh, gosh. Okay. Whatever. I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Got him. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. He's only got the single force point. Sometimes you got to risk oh, it for the yeah. biscuit, and it turns out that biscuit was in the oven the whole time. And that's a chunk of points. 8 to 11. Marco leads now. Yeah, great job uh, focus firing on that fire spray. Oh, Rexler has a target lock and Palpatine available. Oh, that lock need... coming in handy. Oh, yeah. One hit only. Rerolled three. Oh. And only able to convert for two total. Han Solo takes both. No, we'll spend uh, the, the Lando the calculate. Blank to blank. So now we have Han Solo unshielded. After that, and Kath. Oh Kat's my goodness. Scarlet. I believe Azir made it out of this. <laughs> what did what did Kath do? She just hard won in that position? Yeah, just yeah. turned. Turned right and locked Merrick. No shot for Vizier, but I mean, worth it, right? Oh, can you imagine <laughs> Vizier doing like another four damage into Cat? After <laughs> <laughs> all of that. Yeah, like, uh. yeah. Wow. That is absolutely huge. Now, I mean, Vizier's double stressed and Kath has a rear arc. Han Solo can uh, take advantage of those stress. So probably not going to survive if anybody shoots at that ship, but it eats one of the two very valuable shots from the scum now. 
And on top of that, you had just had uh, you with the positioning. Um, the empire just went up another two points due to the scenario. So now we're at a deficit of eight to thirteen. Yeah, the the imperials really taking advantage of their numbers in this situation, making sure that they're spread out and concentrating on the objectives. I mean, there's a lot of points up for grabs each round, so they should not be ignored. Uh, I'm not sure why we didn't see an agile gunner here. Mm. Would have been a great time to do so. Might be just mm, thinking a really? one forward. I mean, if you, yeah, one forward or if you bank in, you might be able to take a trick shot on Merrick coming around the other side of that chaff club. That's true. I guess I just want to get rid of Vizier <laughs> really badly. <laughs> no, uh, Vizier, I'm, Vizier I'm lives on. Cast. Yeah, Vizier's going to live the whole game. If he's super annoying, it'll be fine. <laughs> That'd be fine. Kelly uh, Toolman asking, did Sean miss the Savage Press trigger when Iman did the talent roll? So let's go ahead and take a look at S Savage. It says, after a friendly ship in your front arc range, one or two gains a stress token uh, or strain token. You may spend one stress if you he do. He was too that far ship. away. Gains a focus. Yeah, it would have not been range one to two in arc, unfortunately. Now, if he did the 4K and landed behind Vizier, like you said, that I thought was ridiculous, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that could have actually worked. I can't talk up Savage and Ahsoka enough. Yeah, that, really cheap. Uh, but their, their actual abilities are effective uh, because you can trade your force on you for a focus token on somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh, that is excellent action economy. Uh, and we actually, like, you see them be used for more than just their force point. Uh, Kath, big move here. Going to actually have a shot on Vizier. After doing that big three bank. Oh my god, what the heck is happening here? All right, sorry about that, everybody. Well, we still have a shot. Was that just the dice cam? Or the, uh, the camera? Yeah. I'll, I'm going to reset it over here. You guys keep going. It'll be okay. So, yeah, we do see Merrick on the other side of that chaff cloud. Ugh, uh, yeah. Another valuable tool. Uh, Han, Han has always been a weird ship that, like, he floats, like, like just at, like, B-plus status, right? Whereas uh, we can see him, like, throw these five dice range three attacks and stuff, right? His potential is so high. Yeah. But getting but, that but, yeah, the ceiling. The ceiling is so high. The, the ceiling is infinite with this yeah. on solo. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but, like, to get to... to to even consistently get three die worth mm, of damage yeah. is pretty un uncommon. Right, yeah. Every two dice single modified attack Han takes is very sad. Uh, that's a expensive ship uh, who has to rely on those obstruction, especially on defense. Like, that's really where the value of Han Solo can come through here. Because uh, you could get uh, three dice, double modified defense every round, as long as you're behind an obstruction. Like, right. that's better than most three agility ships uh, yeah. being able to defend. So, yeah, like you said, the ceiling's just so uh, incredibly high on, on that. It's impressive to see a pilot do well with him. I uh, got some choices here. Uh, did Merrick reacquire a lock? No, just focus, focus. this round. I, I, I think that's the correct option, though. I mean, do you just take out Vizier? No, he's going on Merrick. I think you take, yeah, the, the four dice around Merrick. Yeah, because you got rerolls those two planks. Hopefully they're rolling the hits. There you go. And then you spend the other calculate on that one. Bam! Man. Three hits and a crit. Big money. Four oh. on four. Okay. Does the damage... Maybe. Spend your, spend your focus. Two? I mean, gee, you probably okay. should. Yeah. yeah. And that is like, check in, you know? He's yeah. like, maybe. 
Maybe but that's just a shield on Merrick, right? Still had shield. Yeah, just first damage on Merrick. That is what uh, is going to be challenging for Han, is giving three agility ships extra defense. Could uh, backfire on him. All right, two hits. Going into Han right now. No target lock available. I feel like Rexler has been like allergic Ooh. to focus results. We're going to see an expose here. They're reading Rexler Brath. After you perform an attack that hits, if you are evading, expose one of the defender's damage cards. I mean, because it's after, it can be the cards immediately dealt. You mentioned the combination between him and Heavy Laser Cannon that prevents crits. And that's a direct a hit, guys. Wow. Ooh, so, that is powerful. Bonus damage. Do not want a direct hit with Rexler exposing your cards. Rexler's yeah, over now, here like, we could do that again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, so this is, I used to uh, do something similar with uh, uh, Director Krennic. Oh, and yeah. uh, Merrick Stell, where you can choose a crit and then expose it with Director Krennic. Uh, Rexler does the same thing, though. Oh, a big okay. swing oh, here from Kath well, Scarlet. That, two hits, fair. two crits. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, cool. Yeah. It only needed two hits, but just take Kath takes out her anger on uh, Vizier. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, fuel leak for oh, so many, so much damage. Uh, Jingoist gets to finish up here, taking down one of the Jingoist early uh, with Han there, or not early, but uh, taking one of them down before they can score too many points. Uh, I think has really benefited this comeback for the scum. All right, range two from the Jingoist. Both players are still in it. Score of 12 to 13. Two die shot in the Scarlet. Can you get any shields off? One hit. Currently strained and gets the squiggle. Yep, got strained from the concussion bomb. Uh, from the previous turn. And let's see, is that in range? Yeah, so that's going to be two more points for... The Empire, one more for the, uh, what are they called? Scum. Scum Words. villainy. Words are hard. <laughs> the pirates. Arg. Uh, so, yeah, that's, so we're, we're in the official end game now. We can start uh, really easily quantifying points here. The, uh, the Empire. An agile gunner. Oh, is it? Yeah, an agile gunner. I was wondering what he was doing. Uh, the the Empire simply needs, uh, what, two turns and a couple objectives to get five points. Uh, whereas this common villainy needs to do a similar thing, but also kill that Jinguist in the process mm -hmm. to make up the same amount of points. I mean, out, if it becomes two on two, the advantage has to be on Scum, right? Oh yeah, you got the two two big chonkers. Uh, they're taking up space, yeah, but... and you're you're already in. Uh, you're ready coming into turn seven. Mm -hmm. I think so. But the, there is a twist, though. What's that twist? Han's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, uh, Rex, like... the Empire could just forgo this whole objective thing and have Rexler just kill Han Solo. You are right. Yeah, because if you kill Han Solo, you win. Mm-hmm. That's a six-point ship. So what would you do? M Merrick too hard, barrel roll, kind of get in a position oh, to start I mean, pursuing? I'm, I'm, I'm conf uh, yeah, Merrick, uh, yeah, too hard, barrel roll. Keep, the, keep that objective for at least one more round. You think the too hard doesn't hit the rock? I mean, you're going to have to risk it. <laughs> That's how you do it with them. One bank bear roll. You'll well, never shoot the rest could, of the game. You could three talent and then boost. You think that the hard two hits the rock, but the three talent wouldn't? Oh, the three talent 
definitely hits the rock, but I see yeah. what I see what Yeah, but at least you're facing the right way. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, do it do it, go all the <laughs> all way. Right, James least, says at don't least make sure it works is what you're saying. <laughs> Commit, please. Alright, fair enough. Alright, well, that's that's sound logic actually. I can't deny that. I can't deny that. Alright, Kath, got plenty of health to face down Rex their breath for at least a couple turns here, hopefully. That's, I, I guess Iman said the same I, thing, so... Uh. <laughs> that worked out. Uh, but Rexler decided to pursue Han. I think uh, I think Marco has, has has realized that. He won banked. I didn't want to bump oh, wow. into Han to make sure he got an action. Set up the okay, target lock. There's enough. the two. Hard to... Fair enough. Uh, yeah, oh, I, this, is, this is Operation Just Score Points on Han. Ooh, has the obstructed calf? Uh, no, no, don't do, don't do that. But... <laughs> yeah, don't do that. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Empire clearly committed here. Would rather get the points off of Han than figuring out objectives. Must it be already counting out the Jinguist, maybe? Oh, Ooh, here we go. No, no card. Uh, nice. That's going to give him his extra defense. And that's going to protect Rexler. him. Yeah, from the first, the five forward boost from Rexler. Wow, what a play here! Now, doesn't what it doesn't do is uh, no offensive boon here because it's unobstructed uh, to the targets available because he's just outside the range of Rexler, which is, I mean it's better for him. He didn't want to take that shot anyway. One hit going into the Tie Fighter, safe. Yeah, I don't know if he wants to blow that Tie Fighter up though. <laughs> like. All true with a <laughs> dead man, man switch. Worth. Worth. All right, Merrick, just natural two dice. Whoa. S single crit. Cast oh, still, still. has only the force, but is safe. All right, got that reroll from Marauder and the Force Point still. Four dice coming in, got two hits. Spend the Force for three hits and a crit. And that TIE Fighter is taken. Hit crit. And we got a, what was that? Well, stunned. Stunned pilot. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to hard, I mean, hard one. And the, it turns out that reach cargo shoot is an obstacle. Yeah. <laughs> Even though they don't normally do damage, if you're stunned, it certainly will. Oh, I never thought about that. Like uh, Kylo Ren, show you the dark side, stunned pilot, and then like chaff clouds you. Oh. oh. <laughs> that sounds dirty. That is that dirty. Dirty. Unintended uh, glory here. So we're checking ability here. He's at range two. So no uh, that's no. it has to be range zero to one in your front arc, not just uh, range zero to one. So no strain, unfortunately, and no range one bonus. Not does able to push one through though. Yeah, there are, there are some abilities that do. Uh, do that uh, where it says check for range one and then if it's in your front arc mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I think like uh, what, what's that uh, the Mandalorian ship that does that uh, the Fang Fighter I think is um, it actually uh, old, it T. Looks... old T looks for are you in are you at range one of a ship and is it looking at you mm -hmm. yeah which is yeah two different checks uh, which, so I understand what you're trying to say. The Jinguist is only a single check of in your front arc at ring zero to one. Right. Uh, you know, though, I think when it comes to this uh, a stun pilot, I think the one hard, you should be fine. I think you got yeah, enough he's space. Fine. Yeah. Well, Concordia yeah. face off does the same thing. Like if someone is shooting you out of their side, but it's range two out of the side, but the attack range is range. Range one uh, in their front arc. Range, oh. or, no, it's, it's just range, <laughs> sorry, range one on the side, range two of the front arc. Um, you could actually uh, still turn it because um, you're in the front arc. 
Yeah. N not sure it's the right play, but some people are pointing out that the Jinguis could purposely hit the loose cargo to deal the, yeah. an additional damage. Oh, for the 100, dead man switch? 100%. Oh, uh, oh. oh we're, getting, we're getting spicy now. Oh, yeah. uh, what's that? I mean, Ooh. that that would tie the game, though. That would give Sean two more points. Yeah. But it's unlikely he's going to be able to do anything right, with more. that Jinguist anyway. Yeah, there, is he at 13 or 14? He's got 14 down. Oh, yeah, yeah, because he did get one more point. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, it would put him he in the lead. He got a point then. last round mm -hmm. when, uh, when the Empire didn't get a point. So, no, that would actually give him the lead. That's not a good trade. Unless you know for sure Rexler Wrath can hit the target lock. But look what Han did. He moved his arc side to side. So he's not K-turning, not slooping. He's hard throwing turning, towards yep. the open field. Uh, which should hopefully maybe get an obstruction through that loose cargo. So some, some people okay. are saying that the Jinguist ends up being, is going to end up just getting wasted, not doing anything. It does absorb a shot. Uh, of course, mm -hmm. if the Jinguist ends up being the only thing in range, then, yeah. uh, then it ends up being like, hey, uh, it looks like the suicide bomb was the right choice. All right. Rexler, you got to get through that lane. got to get through that lane. Do you go for the boost here? I think you do. Go you for it. You have to boost. You have to keep up with this, huh? Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Otherwise, he's, he's going to boost out of your arc. He did it. Uh, well, he didn't need to do it last round, but he was going to do it last round. Yes. Goes boost. for the straight boost. Should have the lock on him? Yeah, they both have yeah. unlocked. The three hard, as we expected. Okay. Yep, yeah, goes for the objective here and the shot on the Jingoist. And we can see that the Rexler shot is going to end up being range two. Ooh. Rexler range three obstructed. Yeah, Ooh, we can't kill him, though. Rexler will have a shot. Oh, you know what? This is going to do a damage to Rexler, though. <laughs> oh, true that. Got four that's shields. why. That's why I didn't want to boost in. Ah, uh, I, I think it's worth 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 the yeah, one it's shield. Too, it's too late to be worrying about that. Two hits or natties, maybe. Mm? No. Oh, sad. Mm. It was close. Dead man switch shield, and you're gonna give up two points, and then uh, this come will get you more points. From the objectives, but yeah. uh, not if Han's dead. That's true. As you said it, uh, Merrick found a range. Reach just oh, barely. Oh, boy. Mm, this is huge. Absolutely Not obstructed? Unobstructed. No, he out of the way of it. Yeah. And he has a target lock, right? Yeah, he yep. picked it up last round when we, everyone said he should have barreled towards the objective. He's like, no, I got a lock. Oh, we spending it, too. That's aggressive. Only one That's, hit. One I don't hit. know if I agree with the, the expenditure there. I mean, Han's going to... You can't chase him. You have to go around this loose cargo. Even with a three-bank boost, he's out of there. All right, well, let's see. Rexler available now I with mean, his shot. With, with uh, Ooh. natural hits and the direct underneath the Han, it is possible. Oh, that's a blank oh. spend. Oh, <laughs> Rexler exposing a damage card here. Tasty. Uh, it's random, though. So we're going to shuffle all seven of these cards. It's funny, though. Sean grabbed the one that was the direct. He grabbed that one first and put it in the pile. <laughs> <laughs> fuel, uh, fuel leak. leak. All right, so Han survives. One hole left, 15 minutes. Uh, Han Han is the short for this world. You basically need one more shot on him. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that after this shot that most likely won't do anything. Got Marauder, though, and a force point. Spend for, two, for three. Hit it, crit. Five defense dice, no. four <laughs> evades. No. No. Uh, <laughs> spend for five. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, so as uh, this game rounds out, to me, uh, Cats could actually get to 
uh, 20 by herself if she could hold both those objectives at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, Han, if Han dies, you lose anyways, right? Because yeah. he'll, he'll have six points, he'll have 23. Could you three bank to Han's right, boost left, and just tuck yourself in the corner, get your, your yeah, 20 but points? Yeah, are just one's banks. One banks. Well, if he one banks, that doesn't cover the forward boost then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like you, like you try to get forward as and then boost. far away as you can. Yeah, is there a, is there a maneuver on Rex their style that covers everything Han can do? Um, two straight, two straight barrel roll maybe. Like away from calf? No, towards or calf. Towards Towards, yeah, yeah, towards, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then and then Merrick covers the Merrick covers the, in that three bank afterburners. Maybe yeah. I I think I have to agree that Rexler needs to go slow and keep that arc as wide as possible. Uh, it is it he, is being pointed out that uh, that Tie Fighter suicide um, dead man yeah. would have uh, would have meant Han better. was gone. I mean that would have been <laughs> GG right there. Yep. Oh yeah, hindsight yeah. on the yeah. The I, I, bomber. I agreed with them earlier when they were saying, you know, it, that that jingo is not going to do anything because it's just going to get killed. Um, a hundred percent. But yeah, what if it didn't? But what, what if, if it, it didn't, James? It, what if it found its damage? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. I think I should have just killed itself on the rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For the empire. <laughs> <laughs> As ruthless as they are, like it's hard to condone that behavior, you know. <laughs> I think they would have turned the other eye. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't have cared, but like, they're, it's hard for them to suggest doing that. It's like I'm going to let you know that this is something you can do. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, ah, uh, there it is. There's the play. One, yep. one hard and hope. Perfect, perfect positioning there. Set it up last round. Oh, guarantees the win. So Han does not need to be by an objective this round. After burners. Yeah, they... I think now he can just three bank and then boost into the top, uh, bottom left corner. Ooh, oh. Rex is going fast for the oh. block. Five Ooh, straight okay. money. So he, I so think he had to bear roll. No, no, he's already blocking that lane in the hard, uh, like any maneuver forward or left now. I don't think that, I don't think it blocks the three bank. Uh, I think it does. I think it does. Uh, that's the game, but right now, I didn't think about that. That Rex that could just block for Merrick Stone. Man, if this was old Falcon, one hard right here and boost <laughs> away. Mm, <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> All right. What you gonna, What you gonna do? What you gonna do, Rexler? Yeah, I think I go think for the bear roll. Yeah, this is a good call. This is a good call thing because it it messes with either three bank right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if Han just goes short, planning to boost, um, either way, Merrick gets the shot. And okay, the plan well, no. the plan was a three bank is the into the corner. You still have to boost right to deny at least one of those. Yeah, shots? yeah, for sure. Yeah, but if he boosts left, he's boosting into heavy laser cannon. Cool. Uh oh, you're right. <laughs> Neat. Yeah, it's what you have to do. <gasps> oh, oh, I don't Not know if it's big. in there. Oh, I thought it was. Could be obstructed too. There's yeah. a chance he boosted into the obstruction for the extra dice. And we're gonna see where that where that line is drawn. It's obstructed. Brings two. No Obs bullseye. No bullseye. Wow. You're saying the there's a chance. Three on three. Oh. Uh, Rexer's got the target lock and juke though. I don't Should think he has the target lock. I see it sitting right there. He natted last time. Oh, and he natted this time too. That's gonna. That's that's it. Uh, that's yeah. game. It's with the juke. Yep. There's nothing the you juke, can do. Yeah. The juke being the tiebreaker. Yeah. So wow. so close. Amazing game. Oh, the other two roll of fates. <laughs> yeah, juke. Uh, so takes hit crit on the way down. Exposes another damage. <laughs> it's a direct hit. Uh, and with that, Han is taken off the table. Objectives are scored uh, at the end here, but Cat Scarlet does get to get a revenge shot. 
or fun. There's no way you're you're taking out Rexler Breath here. A little bit of trail mix, hit focus blank, spend for two, and dodges. That's the way to end a game. Just be like, no, I win. Tied yeah, there Rexler at the bottom. Uh, no, uh, just one objective on the scum side. Score of 19, no, 20. 20 because it's a two ship to 23. Congratulations to Marco Tamlin getting the W here in our wild card round, and we'll be moving into our top eight. Man, that was intense. That was a good game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, excellent, excellent job by the, the Imperials there to rally because uh, the scum had it early, right? Got the objectives early. Mm -hmm. Got that great positioning with Iman for some bomb drops. But, uh, yeah, the Empire just rallied, started grabbing objectives, took the, one of those fire sprays off the board. Absolutely love it. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J List, our Grand Admiral Patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron out.